market volatility? <clears throat> market volatility is the amount the market fluctuates um, over a certain duration. So it has nothing to do with direction. It's just how much the market moves, fluctuates. Um, and it's interesting because actually a lot of the time this isn't regarded when people, when people are trading. They don't think to consider the volatility. They're just looking at direction. The volatility is extremely important factor of trading. And you should be considering the direction and the volatility when, when you're trading. <laughs> Mm. And talking about factoring volatility into trading, <coughs> yeah. Do you, do you think about historical volatility when you you know thinking about trading mm. now? Is that sort so, of now what's interesting about volatility is that you've got historical volatility, so you can look back over a certain period of time and see how volatile a product is is, um, but that's not necessarily that useful in your trading because you're trading in the future. So you need future volatility, but it's impossible to work out future volatility because it hasn't happened yet. So what exists in the market is something called implied volatility. And this is volatility of what, what the market is expecting volatility to be. And it's a measure in the market. You can get hold of implied uh, volatility figures and it will tell you over, you can choose the period of time. So you can say, okay, well, how volatile does the market expect euro dollar to be in the next week? And it'll, it'll tell you how, how, what the market is thinking. Now, how is that useful? Well, on the one hand, you can incorporate it into your spot trading or forward trading and have an understanding of how much volatility is expected. Um, on the other hand, you can also trade it, but, but you can also trade volatility directly because through buying options, you are maybe buying on direction, a directional move, or you're buying volatility or both. You can incorporate both together. So if, if the market is expecting low volatility, but you think because there's a big announcement or, or something big happening in the market that uh, there's going to be a larger move, you can buy an option and, and benefit from an increase in, in volatility. It, it's, you need to look at implied volatility data. And you need to look at, and implied volatility literally means expected volatility. What does the market consensus believe that volatility is going to be over a certain, in a certain pair over a certain period of time. That's, uh, that's, that's all that is. So you, you need, you know, you can look at that information and use that and use that in your trading. Um, it's the same thing as when you're trying to predict what's going to happen with a price. You're, you're looking at the market consensus and this is a market consensus of volatility.